Today, we will be graphing inequalities. These are the four different inequalities that we have in math class. This first one, you guys know it, is greater than. The second one means less than. The third one means greater than or equal to. This line underneath means equal to. The fourth one is less than or equal to. So what I'd like you to do is to create this map on your note page, this tree map. If you need to, pause it up. Now, greater than on a number line are the numbers that are to the right. Less than are the numbers to the left. Greater than or equal to are just like greater than ones. They're the numbers to the right. And less than or equal to are the numbers to the left. So please write that down on your tree map. Now if I have greater than, we make an open circle. And I'm going to show you in a second what that looks like. If we have less than, we also make an open circle. When we have greater than or equal to, we use a closed circle because this equal to tells me that I can use that number for that problem. So that's why it's a closed circle. Open circle means I can't use that number. It doesn't include that number. And less than or equal to is also a closed circle because it has the equal to sign so I can include that number. So if you need to, pause up the video and record your tree map. Now what does that look like? Well, let's write down this first inequality. x less than or equal to 8. So the first thing I want to do is make a number line. And so I make a number line, and in the middle I put my number 8 because that's the number I'm graphing. And then I always like two numbers after it and two numbers before it. Since it says less than, x is less than 8, that means all the numbers to the left of 8. But since it has this equal to sign, x could also be 8, because 8 is less than or equal to 8. So where the 8 is, we're going to put a closed circle and then we're going to draw an arrow going to the left. So all of these numbers on this side of the number line, x could be. And even 7.5, or 7 and 1 fourth, or 7 and 3 fourths. Anything that is from the 8 to the left of my number line could be x. So x has many, many different answers here. So let's go to our second one. Write down this inequality for me, please. And now we're going to graph it. So just like before, I'm going to put negative 5 in the middle of my number line. And then I wrote two numbers above it, negative 4 negative 3. Remember, those are less than because they're negatives. And then two numbers to the left of negative 5. For this one, it says greater than negative 5, so this time negative 5 cannot be x or w. So at negative 5, I'm putting an open circle because it is not equal to. I cannot count negative 5. And greater than means all the numbers to the right of 5. So I draw an arrow on my number line going to the right. So w can be any number from negative 4.99999 all the way up on the number line. Third one, write this inequality down, m less than 3. To graph it, I draw a number line, put my 3 in the middle, two numbers to the right of it, two numbers to the left of it. 
because it's less than 3. I know it's all the numbers to the left, but not 3. So at the 3, I'm going to put an open circle because we cannot include 3. And I'm going to draw a line going to the left because all of these numbers to the left of 3 could be M because M is less than 3. Here's our fourth and final one together. Write down the inequality P greater than or equal to negative 10. And now I'm going to draw my number line with negative 10 in the middle, negative 9 and 8 and, oops, sorry guys, negative 9 and 8. Negative 9, negative 8 in front of it, negative 11, negative 12 after it. Now since P is greater than or equal to negative 10, that's all the numbers to the right. But the first thing I have to do is put my closed circle because P could be negative 10. This equal to tells me P could be negative 10. And now I draw my arrow going from the circle to the right because that's where all my greater than numbers are. So what I'd like you to do is to do these six on your own. So I'm going to tap them first so you can see each of them. Pause up the video. Write down all of the inequalities, and then I'd like you to graph each one. Remember, the number that we're given is always the one in the middle, and you go two numbers to the right of it and two numbers to the left of it on the number line. So pause up the video and graph those inequalities. All right, now you can check your answers. Here's what your first one should look like, your second one, your third one, your fourth one, your fifth one, and your sixth one. If you have any questions, bring them to class tomorrow. Tomorrow we're actually going to start solving inequalities, and I expect you to already know about the graphing part. See you tomorrow, guys.